Hey, uh, I just wanted to talk about this knife here. Um, I'm about to ship it out, so before I do, I want to do a short review on it. Uh, this one's the Spyderco Sage 2. Uh, Spyderco has been making the Sages, and the Sage is a run of knives. Each each knife in the series will honor a um, knife maker and a well, will honor a knife maker. So uh, each one will have a different lock and probably a different handle material. The first Sage was the Sage 1, uh, had carbon fiber handles and the Michael Walker liner lock. And so that was in honor of Michael Walker. Now this one is the Chris Reeve inspired um, knife, so obviously it has a frame lock. Um, I don't actually, this knife does, just doesn't do it for me. I, I know it's hugely popular and I can't really fault it. Like the fit and finish is just beautiful. It's a great knife. But, you know, it just doesn't I don't know. It just doesn't really appeal to me. Um what you're getting here is a titanium frame lock. And this frame lock is solid. I mean look look how early that lock up is. I mean if this thing didn't have spider co stand on it, I mean I could I could see Chris Reed making this knife. Um, one thing I don't like about it is the sound it makes when it locks up. It just sounds kind of flimsy. I don't know. I know you can't hear that, and I'm sure it sounds really solid, but I don't know. It feels kind of, kind of weak to me, which is strange. Um, so the handles are titanium. Uh, you got the frame lock here. It's 6AL4V titanium, which is a common titanium for handle, for handle material. Um, okay, so the handle's actually really long, which is what bothers me. Uh, actually, I don't really, I don't know why in this knife I have a problem with it. Um, the paramilitary, I love the paramilitary, but it's known for having a huge handle. And, you know, the paramilitary does have a huge handle for the 3-inch the blade. But this also has a huge handle for its 3-inch blade. But, I mean, this one just, for some reason, it bothers me. I, I don't know why. I just kind of felt like this knife was made to be a good EDC, but I mean the handle is really chunky. I'll show you a comparison here, which I thought was actually pretty interesting. Um, the handle is almost the same size as that of the full-size Griptilian, but has about half an inch less of blade blade length and also loses some cutting edge because of that coil. But see, the blade is about exactly the same as the Mini Griptilian. I don't know, I just thought that was interesting. Um, anyway, blade steel is S30V. And uh, Spyderco has some of the best grinds in the business. They know how to do edge geometry. So they have full flat ground S30V on this one. And, you know, it cuts like a laser. I cannot fault that. And the ergos on this one are arguably as good as any Spyderco. Now, this is my reference for ergos the uh, Spyderco UKPK in terms of like Spyderco hand holding ergos I mean it just fits in your hand and this one has a very similar feel except your thumb is kind of um kind of more prominent in the grip here you're kind of using your thumb to push forward on the spine okay push the knife forward it feels like I'm trying to push the blade that way with this thumb ram, what you're getting is you're pushing the knife down. So you are getting a heck of a lot of control here. And um, both the coil and the thumb ram are nicely jimped. I mean, it's it's not too sharp, which I like, but it's definitely grippy enough. Uh, one thing people might not like about this knife is that it's made in China, uh, not China, Taiwan. But, you know, you cannot fault the construction of this knife. I'm sorry, you can't see that, can you? Yeah, focus. I guess you can't. But you can see that there's definitely a stamp there. It says Taiwan right here. Uh, one nice touch that Spyderco put on this knife is the scallop standoffs. As you can see here, we got some sort of dumbbell-like standoffs. And, you know, it, it just adds a nice little touch to the knife. I mean, it makes it look that much more professionally made.
the clip is the same as that on the Cali series and the UKPK. As you can see here, it's very deep. Very deep. But it's not quite as deep as you can see on the Cali. The, the UKPK it holds the whole knife. Well, you can still see this much of the spider coat, which is not a lot, honestly. I mean, compared to this Benchmade Gripsillion, you'll see this much as compared to, you know, that tiny bit. But it's definitely more than the UKPK. Um, you know, despite me, the reason I just don't like this knife is because of the handle size and the sound it makes when it locks up. And also the kind of, like, I don't know, it has a weird profile. And, you know, honestly, that should not stop you from getting this knife. Uh, if you like the design and you see it and you really like it, go ahead and buy it. It's a, it's a phenomenal knife. The fit and finish is just impeccable. Like, I mean, especially for a Taiwanese-made knife, this is just superb. I mean, it came shaving sharp out of the box. It's just super sharp. It's a nice light knife, but, you know, I just can't get warmed up to it. I don't know, it's just personal preference. Uh, if you like the design, if you want a TI frame lock that's reasonably priced, go for this one. This one goes for about $150. Uh, if you actually shop around, you can get it a lot cheaper. Um, if you're lucky, you can get it for about 110 or something like that, 120 And at that, it's a humongous value. Um, tip is swappable from left to right, but it's always tip up. And I notice Spyderco does that often. You can see here on the UKPK, it's similar, just tip up. And um, it's, it's a great knife. Like, there's nothing I can fault it on. It's just that, you know, I don't know. There's, it's just a combination of small things that... You know, I'd rather have the money back so I could, you know, put it towards getting a Strider or something like that. But if you're in the market for a nice entry-level frame lock or you want to try out one of Spyderco's products, I think that the um, Sage 2 is a great way to go. Um, I'd advise it, even though I personally don't really like it. I'd actually, like, recommend it. So, uh, you know... That's basically it. I mean, super sharp, great lockup, really nice brush satin finish. You know, great lockup, deep carrying clip. You know, I can't fault this knife, but you know, that's just me. Okay, uh, thanks guys. See you later.